Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 awesome things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't even know about. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to ask you guys to go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe for more as it helps out a lot. Now, let's get started with the first thing that you didn't know your iPhone can do. All right, first off, we're talking about the mute switch. You know, when you turn on the mute switch on the side of your iPhone, it will mute everything on your iPhone from the calls, to the notifications, everything will be muted. But you probably have important contacts on your phone from which you still wanna get a ring or a vibration even though your device might be on mute. What you can do is go to the phone app and find that contact and then just tap on it, tap the edit button and go to ringtone. Once you go to ringtone, you will see here a button that says emergency bypass. If you enable this, and tap that little dumb button, then you will still get a ring or a vibration, even though your device might be on mute whenever this contact will call you. All the other ones will be muted. You will still get a ring from this one. Did you know that on your iPhone, you can take a picture using your voice? Now what you need to do is go to settings and head on to accessibility and go to voice control tap on customize commands and tap on create a new command. What you need to do here is enter the word or a phrase that you want to use to take pictures. So let's just enter cheese here. Here we have cheese. Now what you need to do is go ahead and tap on action and tap on run custom gesture. Right here, just make sure you tap once there and tap on the stop button, tap save, Tap right here and tap save and now you're good to go. You have the command saved, go back and of course make sure you enable voice control right here. Now you can see once I go to the camera app, all I have to do is say cheese and it will take actually a picture. Cheese. And you can see where it does that action, it will tap right there. So of course you need to make sure that you do the action right here where the button is on your camera and then it will start taking pictures. A great iPhone feature is called shake to undo. You probably have used it. If not by intention, you probably have used that accidentally. Now, did you know that it also has another function? So here, if I just go ahead and just enter something and now if I just by mistake, go ahead and shake my device and undo that typing, you can see it will delete completely that word. But that might just have been a mistake and I did tap there by mistake. What I can do is shake once more and I can go ahead and redo that typing. So as easy as that, you can get back anything that you might have deleted with the shake to undo by accident. Now, if you don't have this feature on your iPhone, you can enable it by going to settings, go to accessibility, go to touch, and right here you will find shake to undo. The next feature we're talking about is guided access, but not guided access in particular, but a feature that is hidden within guided access. Now guided access, if you don't know, is a feature that lets you lock your phone into one app so no one will be able to use other apps when you give your phone to someone. You can enable that by going to settings, go to accessibility and just scroll all the way down and you will find guided access right here. You can enable it and you can set a passcode as well. Now guided access also allows us to disable the screen of your iPhone so even the touch won't work and you can also disable the buttons as well. But here's a feature that I will show you guys you probably didn't even know about. Triple tap to go into the guided access mode and right now what you can do here is actually disable certain parts of the screen of your iPhone. Like you can see I can use the screen here but if I want to go to the other tabs it won't let me do that because I have selected to disable only these parts right here and here's how you do that you triple tap once more here enter your passcode and then from here you will have the option to actually do that by enabling touch right here so just enable touch and then you can just enter guided access it and it will completely disable the screen of your phone or you can just go ahead and circle any area where you want to disable the touch and then your phone will basically be disabled on that part right there. So you can see it's highlighted there and I can no longer touch right there to go into the other tabs while I can use the phone right here in the middle. 
Now when taking a screenshot on your iPhone, there are some hidden features that are actually very useful. So let's say I wanna send someone a screenshot here of the home screen of my device, and I just want to tell them about the new Amazon icon. What I can do here is take the screenshot and tap to go to the screenshot and tap that little plus button. And right here we'll find a feature called magnifier. Now magnifier will add this circle, which of course you can customize as well. And this lets you magnify anything you want on the screenshot. So here I can magnify that. You can see that blue dot, it allows me to actually make this bigger or smaller. And that green dot allows me to zoom in more and zoom out. So here I can point this just like that and of course then send it to someone just like that so very useful if you want to just go ahead and just focus on something on that screenshot that will be very cool and right here you can also change the size of the border right there so you can see that circle around and of course you can change its color as well once you're done click done and save it under your photos you might know a feature on safari which will let you search for a certain word on a website so you tap the share button and from here you will get a button that says find on page and then you will need to type here the word that you want to find but that can be done much much easier all you got to do is just tap right there on the bar and just search anything you want and then from here what you gotta do is just tap right here you can see here we have google search we have bookmarks and history and then right here we have on this page so from there it will be much quicker and of course much much easier for you to find the word that you're searching for and of course you have all the results here and the little arrows which allow it to move between the words that it has found on your iphone you can set custom vibrations and you can do that for all of your contacts or on contact basis. So here's how you do it. You go to settings, go to sounds and haptics, and you go to your ringtone. And what you can do here is tap on vibration. You will have different vibration and you can create your own here. So it's like a custom vibration. You tap and hold here and create the vibration that you want to create. But what you can do is also head on to your phone app and from here just search for any contact you want and you can create a custom vibration for that contact. Tap the little edit button and then from here all you gotta do is tap on ringtone and then you have the vibration right here. Tap on create new vibration and you can go ahead and create a certain vibration just for that specific contact. You know how easy it is to send gifts to someone on iMessage? Probably you have missed this. Go to my iMessages and all you gotta do here is just scroll here and tap on images right there on that little red icon, swipe it up and you will have a ton of different gifts that you can send to someone. Whether you wanna call them gifts or gifs, still the same thing, you will have them here and you will also have a search button from where you can search, you have some suggestions right there and of course you will have the history of your searching. And all you gotta do is of course, just tap on the one that you want to choose and from here, you can go ahead and send that. You can add a comment here or you can just tap send to send it to someone. If you're trying to buy a used iPhone from someone and you're worried whether that's a legit iPhone or it's a fake because there are a lot of fakes out there, there is a very, very easy method in which you can basically check if the phone is legit or not. All you gotta do is head on to settings, go to general and then go to about. Under about, you will see here the serial number. Tap and hold on it and tap the little copy button. Now what you need to do is head on to Safari and search for check coverage Apple. Once this opens, tap on the first link right there. And all you gotta do here is just tap the serial number. So just paste it right there and enter here the, the basically the letters that you see there. And once you have done that, tap on continue. And here you will see the model and everything, of course, everything that you need to know regarding that iPhone. And if it shows this, that means that, of course, that's a legit model of iPhone. You probably have heard about the Shazam integration on iOS 14. You basically get now Shazam right here on the control center. If you don't have it, which won't be there once you update to iOS 14, the latest versions, I believe this was added on 14.3. What you need to do is just simply go to settings, 
go on the control center and you will find Shazam music recognition. Actually, it's called, you will find it right here. Just tap the plus button to add it to the control center. But of course, if you hear the music somewhere, you want to find the song, you go ahead and tap that button right there and it will do that for you. But did you know that it will actually also find music that is being played on your iPhone? So let's say I'm on YouTube, I can be on Instagram, TikTok, whatever I want to be. I am playing music. All I got to do is just go ahead and bring down control center, tap on music recognition, and now it will find that song, even though it's being played right here on the device and it's not being played like somewhere in the ambient, it will find it from here. So you can see, bring down the notification and you can see I can go ahead and now find that song. I even have here a button to listen it on Apple Music. So that's it for this video guys. These are 10 awesome things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't even know about. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new regarding your device today. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.